Dave, my bro. I haven't seen you in so long. Yeah, um, I'm Stephen Hassan, and uh, I turned up today to um, show how bold I am about the lack of action in the in the Roastbusters case. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Yeah, um, you know the police saying that the case hasn't been closed yet uh, doesn't really mean much when uh, other young women have, have suffered sexual assaults at <laughs> the hands of these uh, cretins can see what they've done with a year of investigation that had seven complainants. No, nothing, you know. Um, and, and I think the powers that be would like people just to, to, to be quiet and forget about, forget about it and move on. But um, no, it's important to keep talking about it and taking action um, um, against, against people being treated this way. We're seeing now all kinds of different groups are splintering off and, and undertaking different types of actions to try and do something about this. How sad is it that the public feel that they need to take drastic steps to achieve justice so that we can't get through the police? It's, yeah, it's just, it just, it just beggars belief, you know, the, um, the uh, poor nature of, the, of their uh, behaviour and, and the fact that... Um, <laughs> You know the, the keepers of law in our society are unable to to match that with you know with, with some justice. There's no there's been no justice. What would you like to see happen? You know it, it could have been useful. There are a number of um, charges that um, Catriano um, had listed out. They could have just thrown the book at these pricks and done them for a whole bunch of stuff, even if they didn't get them on on. Uh, you know, on rape and sexual assault. Um, you know, it wouldn't have been ideal, but it would have been something um, just to, to investigate for a year and then say, eh, you know, we're not we're not going anywhere with this right now. It just you know, it just isn't good enough. Yeah, you hear a lot of um, talk from media commentators about, oh, we should have a discussion. You know, this should trigger a discussion. From my perspective, this should trigger like arrests and charges and prosecutions yeah, and then this guy, I, I, I sh this guy should be put in jail. I want to see action and justice but I think the discussion part is important as well. I'm a, I've got a 14 year old daughter um, but I, it's not why, why I feel the way I do. I, 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 I credit my folks with um, you know talking about openly about sex and sexual violence um, you know when I was a kid um, knowing from very early on what's you know what's acceptable behaviour and what isn't. Um, and people, you know, we need to talk to our girls, we need to talk to our boys as well, um, you know, about issues like this to try and prevent future harm. It should, I think it definitely should be part of the school curriculum. Um, you know, a, 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 a sex ed discussion that involves issues of um, alcohol, substance use, and consent. Consent is obviously a huge issue and definitely one that's not so well understood. One of the saddest things of this whole saga has been seeing young, some young girls actually step up and defend the actions of the rapists. How does that make you feel? Yeah, I, 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 can't, I can't speak for them. I don't understand. I don't understand how anyone could, um, you know, um, come, to, come to their defence. It was interesting, yeah, the, the comments from us. Um, Briar's mother saying, oh, we're so proud of our son, he's had such a tough year, we're, you know, glad we can put this all behind us. Um, no one will ever forget, they're the, they're the, 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 two, the two that have been named and, and, and had their faces out there are the two most hated men in New Zealand at the moment, I think, and for good reason. Um, no doubt, we see that vigilante, the so-called vigilante group which is a term I really don't like because it puts the blame again on the group of people rather than looking at the cause for the group existing, which is the police in action. But that vigilante group supposedly has thousands of parents in it, thousands yeah. of dads in particular, who are just absolutely flabbergasted that the cops haven't done anything about this. <laughs> and one of the quotes from one of the Roastbusters serial pack rapists on his own social media account was, oh, I just tell the girls, Go ahead, go to the cops, the cops can't unrape you. And that just goes to show that attitude, like even they knew that they were impervious to, in, to justice. That's the, yeah, that's the most frightening thing about it. Um, you know, we know that, um, you know, the majority of instances of rape aren't reported and that, you know, it must come down to 1% that are reported. There's some pitiful fucking number that um, 
that actually where the police are involved, where a, a uh, prosecution uh, results, results in a conviction. Yeah. Um, no, they can't. We can't excuse what they've done, and we need a we need a police to be on side with public opinion here, and our, and our law lawmakers and our, our politicians to be um, you know on side with the public feeling of utter revulsion for um, you know the way these cretins have treated young women. Katrina seemed to think that um, if we petition members of parliament en masse that we will get change. Do you think that will work or do we need a more diverse approach? Uh, yeah, it is a diverse approach. I, I've got a, um, a couple of emails I've, I need to send off to um, politicians and the like. And I, you know, I'll make a point of um, sharing those details with friends who, you know, who care about social and political issues as well. Um, that's part of it, you know, turning up um, when there's a, a march or a demonstration is part of it and talking to people about it is part of it. Um, I'm, not, uh, I'm not involved in the lawmaking process, I don't get to make the big decisions, but, you know, uh, we can all show people how we feel and, and discuss it. And, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's an unsavoury topic. A lot of people are uncomfortable talking about this and, and you know, that has to change. We have to grow up a little bit. And... Um, you know, tackle things like this. You've got to face them. You know, they're not going away. Um, you know, certainly not after um, you know, the lack of the lack of action. You know, I mean, yeah, that, it's we, it's just sent the wrong message to uh, to young men who want to use use women in, in the way that, that they did. That you know, their actions are condoned. I was just amazed by the bravery of the young women who attended today who were classmates of the rapists. Um, you could see they didn't want to be there. You could see that they were uncomfortable, but that, or they didn't want to be seen to be there, but they had this urge inside them to tell and to spread the truth. And that urge overcame their embarrassment sufficiently for them to come and participate. Yeah. And um, I, I feel like no matter how many people are at a protest, it's not about numbers, it's about the messages that come through. It's always about the message. Numbers are great too, though, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we need to, yeah, keep each other posted as to when, you know, when the next um, demonstration takes place and show up and, and you know, pester friends. You know, a lot of us care about this, but um, we're not used to uh, turning out for, you know, to, to, to show, uh, show our sentiments on... Um, Social issues, get over it. Just you know, come along and um, put, you know, put yourself out there. It's a nice Saturday afternoon. <laughs> you're going to meet some, you know, um, you're going to meet some people that you agree with. What could you lose? And that's very much what I mean when I refer to the participation of those young classmates yeah. of the rapists. Is that they weren't natural protesters. They're certainly not career protesters. No. They're just some young girls who really, really, really care about the issue more than they do about their own. Embarrassment yeah, at being on, seen Come on, young protesters. people, don't, don't leave it to us, crusty old malcontents. <laughs> um, yeah, come out, everyone, everyone's uh, awesome. everyone's well. And there was a lot of talk too today about various different things that are happening with various different groups going forward. So I don't think that this is going to be the end of, of this issue. Not at all, not at all. Um, no, no, it won't end until there's justice. Absolutely, and that's as it should be. Thank you so much, Steve. All right.